set. Grab some Oreos and some milk. Dip your Oreos into the milk and set aside. Grab a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. You'll need some crescents. Yay! Yay! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. Lay the croissants out and place an Oreo in the middle. Just like that. Now roll them up and make sure it covers the entire cookie. They'll end up looking something like this. Preheat your oven to 350. Put them in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Time to take them out. And now you know how to make baked Oreos. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Hot. Wow, you guys, this is good. I'm worried. These are a little too good. Huh. Don't you dare throw those away. We're making the best banana bread. I can't stress it enough. Measure like this. Sweet. Best way to measure. One and a half cups all-purpose flour. One teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon kosher salt. Three quarter cup unsalted butter. Make sure the butter's softened, not melted. One cup packed light brown sugar. Cream, medium speed, two minutes. Two eggs. One teaspoon vanilla. Ripe bananas. The batter's gonna curdle. Don't do you worry. Funnel in the flour, low speed until combined. That way you don't make a mess. Spray nine by five loaf pan. 45 minutes to one hour. Oh yeah. We're gonna upgrade these 99 cent Mr. Noodles into this. We're gonna start with the topping, so add some butter into your pan. Add in some frozen corn. Add your bacon to the pan and set it to medium heat. Add your eggs into the boiling water for six minutes and a half. When your eggs are ready, run them under cold water. We're gonna add some miso paste into the stock. Sweet soy sauce. Add your nudes. Nudes are ready. How to make a DQ blizzard at home so much better? Let's do the flip test. Vanilla ice cream into a blender. M&M's. Splash milk. <laughs> Pour it into a glass. All right, upside down test. Delicious. More M&M's. All right, start with the four cheese blend. Parmesan, mozzarella, American, and Gruyere. One cup of each, and we're gonna chop up bacon, parsley, and garlic. Then we're gonna add bacon to the pan and cook it until it's crispy. And on the way, we're gonna add garlic and parsley. Once the bacon is crispy, add two cups of panko and a teaspoon of chili flakes and cook until the panko is brown. Then in the same pan, add three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, and cook until it becomes one, then add three cups of milk. While we wait for that to thicken, on medium high heat, we're gonna cook our pasta. After about five minutes, add the cheese and leave about one fourth of a cup of cheese to mix with the panko mix that we made. Then take the macaroni out about two minutes early and then mix it into the cheese. We're taking it out early because it's gonna finish cooking in the oven. Then we're gonna mix the cheese with the panko breading and make a nice layer on top of the mac. Then in the 450 degree oven, add the whole pan in for only about six minutes because we already made the panko crispy and we just want that top layer of cheese to melt. Serve it up. Yes, uh... Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Start with that chicken thigh, I mean breast, and cut it into inch thick cubes. You know, approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now set it into a bowl and cover it in pickle juice. That's going to be our brine. Now for the dredge, we're going to use flour, cornstarch, panko breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of powdered sugar, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Egg wash is simple. A single leg, salt and pepper, whisk it. That's your egg wash. Then after at least 20 minutes, take the chicken out of the pickle juice and dry them. And then it goes egg wash, dredge, and repeat. Do that for all the pieces of chicken. Then get our oil ready. Fill it up about under halfway for the pan and bring it up to heat. Check with the chopstick and throw them in. 
Remember, if the oil gets a little too crazy, you could always turn down the heat to bring it into control. Then get your paper towel line plate ready. After two or three minutes each side, the chicken's good. Plate it up. Serve it with some fries and you got Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Yes, uh... We're making breakfast quesadillas. Start with bacon strips. Flip, flip, flip Philadelphia. Two eggs. Whisk to combine. Pour in your eggs. Shake it around to get a good little circle. Cheese. Add your tortilla. The melting cheese will act like glue. Check to see if the bottoms come up. Put a plate on top and flip. Slide back on. More cheese, crumbled bacon. Add salsa. Second tortilla. Flip again. After you've toasted the bottom, put it out and cut. Then I always like to add a little more sauce at the end. That's it. Okay, fine. Fine, you wanna make churros, no problem, but understand these are dangerous. Small pan, five tablespoons of butter in, one cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar. Heat on high heat. Make sure it's melted and bring to a boil. Turn off the heat. One teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon fine sea salt. One cup all-purpose flour. Stir till thick with three C's. Now let this cool for eight to 10 minutes, brother. Three eggs, one at a time. Egg, mix, egg, had to switch to a whisk. Egg, mix, then egg yolk. Mix one more time. Till nice and smooth, transfer to a piping bag with a star tip, heavy bottom pot, fry oil, filled a little over halfway. It's cinnamon sugar, not that hard. Three quarters of a cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of, well, cinnamon. Mix together, heat to 375. Pipe five to six inch pieces, snip. It's average churro size, okay? Repeat, fry four to five minutes. Till golden brown and crispy. Remove from the oil, you add the cinnamon sugar. Toss while still hot. Repeat with the rest. Now these are some good looking churros, but now we're talking. Let me